All right, uh, 9.43, we're at UVU, across from the bookstore here. Of course, we're getting complaints about talking about Breaking Bad. Oh, uh, yeah. I told you, you well, guys drifted people, into a private listen, it's conversation. Pe- well, it's people who said, well, I haven't seen any of this season yet. Well, listen, you'd better get on it, and I'll tell you why. Because I'm, the Monday after the season finale, it's going to be all over the news. Not just on our show, all over the news what happened. So you'd better get on it and start watching it. You better quit your job and just start watching it, <laughs> is what I'm saying. Uh, Utah Valley University. Uh, I think it's been two years since mm-hmm. we've been down here, and I forgot. Well, no, I didn't forget. This is oh. from our this is from our first visit. My yeah. mug, yeah, I brought it go. with me. I I didn't forget. I'm I'm just remembering what a great campus this is, and uh, lots of friends of the program go to school there. Yeah, a lot of including people, including the student body president, friend John of the program. How did you end up with a name like Jono? Well, actually, my uh, Bookum Dano from Hawaii Five O. Yeah. Mm-hmm. My uh, uncle just called me that, short for Jonathan, and it's stuck. Oh, so it's just it's a nickname. Oh, yeah. yeah, but it's Jonathan spelled with all O's, so it's just kind John of John Othon. Yeah. Uh, John Othon. Uh, <laughs> John O. Andrews, uh, student body president at UVU, and uh, also with us is the uh, is coach, Coach Greg Moss. But you're not coaching anything yet, right? Nothing yet. Right now we're on the uh, recruiting trail, trying to get uh, athletes in for Fall 14. Soccer. This is new for UVU. Big. It's a brand new uh, Division One program, the only Division One men's soccer program in Utah. Really? really? I didn't know that. Absolutely. Why is that? Well, uh, adding new programs is difficult for universities. It's, it's expensive. We, we go all the way back to Title IX, mm-hmm, uh, the mm-hmm. gender equity within yeah. athletes and our programs. So. Uh, for us, we're very fortunate. Uh, credit to our administration and athletic department here at UVU for adding men's soccer. We're, we're positioned very well. Knowledgeable, experienced, passionate fan base here in Utah. Where do you, where do you come from that uh, you are lucky enough to get to coach and be the guy who starts the program? I'm from Portland, Oregon, originally. I uh, played collegiately and professionally up there. I've been coaching full-time ever since. Mm-hmm. Came into Utah in 2001 to take over as technical director of Utah Youth Soccer, which has 50,000 registered players. Uh, in 2005 and six, I started uh, with a youth academy program with Real Salt Lake, and I've been doing that for six, seven years now. And uh, that positioned me very well for, for this opportunity, cool. which is great. Cool. Uh, and you're looking for you're looking for kids who want to play soccer. We're looking for a lot of kids, and there's a lot of kids. I think every uh, you know high school athlete has written me or called <laughs> me at this point, yeah. which is fantastic. We've uh, engaged kids locally as well as uh, internationally, so the interest level is very very high here at UVU. You got you got a lot to pick from. Huh? Well, and probably having Real here helps people that aren't familiar with Utah but know them through professional soccer want to come. We've always had a thriving youth program here, but certainly Real Salt Lake and Major League Soccer has helped put uh, Utah soccer on the map, which has been fantastic. So timing is great for UVU, adding men's soccer. Uh, The interest level is high. The talent level is deep, not just here in our state, but within the Intermountain region. So uh, we're excited about next year and especially entering into the Western Athletic Conference. How about you, Jono? Are you gonna play? <laughs> oh, I, I no? hung huh? up my cleats two years ago from the cross. <laughs> That's what I actually came here to do. Yeah, I played yeah. the cross here for about two years. That's got a, involved. That can be a pretty brutal sport, can't it? Yeah, I've got still numb tissue around on my elbows and mm. chip bones, but it makes you what you are, I guess. So are you a senior this year? I am. And then what? What happens? Oh, you know. I don't I know. Sky's the limit. I you guess. You gotta have a plan. Oh, I've got I've got two plans cooking right now. But one, of, the, one of them is robbing banks. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I work well with a mask usually. No. Uh-huh. Um, I, I just did my internship with Vivint, doing in the digital marketing and social media. So that was fun. Mm-hmm. But uh, I'm looking more towards uh, investments, so helping smaller companies grow on in Utah. It's kind of a fun time here. Mm-hmm. No, look at that face. Yeah. Look at that face. Handsome. Handsome mm-hmm. guy. Mm-hmm. You know what he should be doing. Uh, commercials? Commercials or politics. <laughs> yeah, or politics. And yeah. in his uh, spare time, he puts on the uh, Willie uh, 
the Wolverine costume and uh, buzzes around. Yeah, why not? <laughs> no, I actually, uh, it's, a, it's a beauty of being able to go here at UVU to grow, a, you know, a full beard. So, <laughs> That's unlike why our you're sister here. school or, or our school from the east. Yeah. So. You can grow a beard. I don't get it. You can have a porn stash at BYU, <laughs> yeah. but, but not, not a beard. beard. I don't I don't. I understand would think that. it would be no por porn stash, no, but no. yes to beard. Okay, cop stash, all right. You feel cop better stash. about it now? Cop okay. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, any predictions about the, uh, the game? <laughs> on Saturday you uh, e either of you want to predict who might win that football game oh it's tough that's a tough prediction uh, you know I've got to give the advantage to BYU they're at home uh, it's a tough uh, venue to play in and but although Utah's coming off with a little bit of a chip on their shoulder having lost to uh, in overtime to Oregon Just State barely yeah, barely barely mm -hmm. my, my dad's actually a Utah alum and so we were always raised with red and it kind of threw him off that I came here, but it, uh, I'm definitely going for the Utes. Yeah. Hi, you know, we were asking this question early this morning. What do you, where do you think it'd be interesting uh, to really survey the students when that game happens and find who, well, where, B, where do BYU, most of the students? BYU shirt right there. Yeah. Where do most of the students that go to UVU when that game happens? Who do they support? Because I know UVU students mostly kind of don't like BYU. Because <laughs> when the, the, you're the game in the shadow, happens, you know. but when the game happens, who do they go support? You know, I, I think it comes down to the genealogy, really. What are their parents like? Where do they yeah. go? That's because where you get it. Yeah. Because I, I think I have a lot of arguments on campus here, just even saying wear some green. Uh, <laughs> but we're, we've done a really good job though this year about doing that. But I think it's going to go half and half usually. Yeah, and that. But then any other time, it's it's you know it's you you kind of where we feel we're better than BYU and boo BYU and I know there's that kind of feeling of rivalry of campuses. Definitely. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. I think the soccer will definitely help help us. Uh, actually wiped the floor with them so mm -hmm. wow i like that mm -hmm. i like that there's some trash talk already <laughs> will you pl will you play soccer with any uh, like maybe bec there isn't another school in utah that has a will you play intramurally or no or right now we actually have nine student athletes on campus right now so they're doing their job in the classroom training hard every day on the field uh, we'll get a few more kids in january the bulk of our recruits next fall uh, but our conference in the Western Athletic Conference, uh, uh, our closest rivalry is going to be UNLV uh, down in Vegas and Air Force uh, in Colorado. So we have a chance to certainly engage that inner mountain uh, region area and, and excitement with UVU athletics mm -hmm. here. But just just for fun, you won't play like a club that's at another Utah school, or not at this time. We're mm. we're just training. Yeah. We will have a spring season, and, and you know, so we'll probably play like Colorado Mesa, Dixie State University, Westminster. Okay. Uh, you know, engage kind of the Utah uh, soccer mm. crowd there. Mm -hmm. Okay, and nice talking to you guys, and thanks for having us down here. Thank you. Fun. It's a pleasure, honestly. We I won't, we were fighting for you to come on. I mean, I've on your Facebook and all over such stuff. So <laughs> big big fans. Absolutely. Thank, Thank you, you very, very much. You. Nice yeah. to nice to be here. Thanks, guys. Right. Thank Thank you. Good luck with the soccer. That's going to be a great thing. Thank right. you.